if project is very simple just go ahead install express in your node.js project and use it however you want to use it but if project is little bit bigger in size or there might be chance that you might have to add maybe 10 to 15 feature once the project is built and it's on production then it's preferred that you might have to use nest.js because otherwise your project is going to get lots of meshed up and you might not have idea why is it working or why is it not working what do i mean by like uh, adding feature adding feature means uh, you might have to implement different models uh, and implement lots of routing uh, maybe give permission to different users uh, or maybe even add functionalities like payment gateway or uh, some kind of other things maybe web sockets maybe graphql all these things if you want to add then obvious using nest.js is preferred because it gives ability to manage even bigger project with proper discipline by discipline i mean there will be proper structure to your application and uh, you have to follow controllers uh, providers uh, and uh, module syntax with schemas uh, as well as dto also should be present on your project all these things will make sure that you can add new features without worrying much about existing feature breaking or thinking that whether it is going to work or not but if you want to give 100 percent of the customization that how does your data comes how does it goes out of your application and where and all what and all needs to happen exactly then obviously using express.js is wise in terms of that because express.js gives you full freedom to use whatever the thing you want to use in your project and uh, there is benefit to it that it is going to let you do that and there is disadvantage to it also because it's going to make sure you might go wrong at any point in time because there is no such syntax that which you have to follow in order to build express shares you can do whatever you want to do you can create route wherever you want to create you can uh, create files wherever you want to create and it's going to work uh, and importing is also another mess like you can import files uh, this that everything you can do in it that's actually benefit for pro developers uh, but at same time uh, if you are not that much experienced uh, there might be chance that you might do lots of mistake so nest.js is preferred in that case but as always uh, if you follow discipline uh, it's easier to implement feature in nest.js most of the time uh, you can implement any kind of feature but you are restricted to making sure that how do you make it work in nest.js principle nest.js principle is not like rigidly enforced you might not follow it uh, but if you follow it uh, then it's actually better that uh, to be followed as how they are meant to follow but there might be chance that you might not follow it but if you know the consequences that how does one feature work that means you should have experience that how does that particular feature works because making any kind of plugin which is meant for work in nest.js is 100 percent possible but you need to think and understand how to make it actually work on nest.js it's possible but there might be some pieces which you might have to add up in order to make sure it will work in your project as you expect it to work but in express.js yes, it is easily implementable if you just follow syntax it's going to work as you expected it to work now to the main question which is actually the best to use the answer to that particular question is always complicated but let me make it easy for you if you are working on a project which is going to be changed rapidly in future maybe adding additional features to it stick with nest.js it's going to help you but if you are working on some project which is small and it might be one time project maybe you are giving it to one client or something like that it's preferred that you use express.js as the name suggests you code it once and it's done there won't be any kind of multiple iteration or updates to it so it's better if that's the case to use express.js directly but if you're planning to build bigger project which means there are hundreds of feature which you are waiting to add to it then using nest.js is best choice that's it for this video guys and if you want to know more about nest.js and what exactly it is here is one video and you can watch it that's all for this video see you in the next video bye bye